Hi all, welcome to Fahmina's Creation. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own mosaic design or graph in Microsoft Excel Sheet. So let's get started. First, uh, go to the search button next to the start menu in your uh, laptop or desktop, whatever you are using and type in Excel. So it will give you the Excel option. Just uh, open click in there and open a new page excel page so i've already got a page open next what we are going to do is that select the rows and columns where we think our um, pattern or graph we are going to uh, draw in so i've selected that now let's create the format option from the top toolbar so click the format and adjust your row and row height and column height mainly to make it look more like a square box so let let's make the row height to 28 okay press ok when you're happy with the height uh, let's click the format again and adjust the column width so let me just put 8 maybe it will make the row small square shape now let's change it to six perhaps okay that looks more like a square shape right okay now let's start doing our design mm -hmm. and first of all uh, let's mark somewhere let's just put the numbers like one two uh, just to uh, give a number to the row and columns you are using. So I'll put one and two here. Now if I select both box and um, put my uh, mouse, scroll my mouse here in the uh, corner of uh, the two boxes and if uh, you can see there's a plus sign. So if you just select there and carry on taking the boxes all the way to where you think your um, graph will go and then there it is it is showing um, the number sequence of your columns so now you can do the same for your rows so let's start from here maybe here from one two now to show you all the rows you're going to do here okay now for the first two rows of any uh, mosaic pattern we usually like to um, do single crochet into alternate colors the two uh, primary and secondary color that we are going to use in the of our project so for me my primary color is going to be yellow and my secondary color is going to be purple so what I'm going to do, I'm selecting this whole uh, point, whole area where I want to uh, put single crochet as my row one. And uh, then I'm going to color it in yellow because yellow is my primary color. Then row two, I'm going to do it in purple. So I'm going to color it in purple. So just to avoid the confusion, uh, we know that uh, we don't know yet how many rows or columns we are going to do. Maybe we are going to do um, nine rows. Just assume it's going to be nine. So what we are going to do? Put nine in here. Um, let's just make it ten. Okay, rows we are going to make. So we we'll put ten and nine. So if I select both of them, it's going. Um, and then if I um, scroll to the corner of nine. And selected I've already selected both the boxes and uh, scroll to the corner of nine and there I can see a plus sign is showing now I'm going to select this and start taking it all the way to here and then I can see uh, my rows are numbered according to my preference because this is where we are going to start a project from so it's row one and row two yeah so same thing we can do for our chains so our columns, this is basically showing our columns and also uh, telling us how many columns, how many chains we have to do for our project. So let's just start from 17, 16, okay. And then uh, we are uh, selected both the boxes and now 
or found the uh, plus sign and I'm selecting it and taking it all the uh, dragging it all the way to my starting point of my uh, row so now I know I need 17 chains and I've got 10 rows you can adjust it later if your project is uh, if your design is uh, bigger than what you have assumed at the beginning you can always go and change the numbers so it's just to, to show you how you can number your columns and rows so here um, 10 and 9 rows again I'm going to uh, make it border so uh, we know uh, first and uh, last two rows we always uh, do single crochets most of the time you can you can skip that it's not like mandatory or anything but it gives a, a nice design usually we do that so that's why I'm going to uh, color them in uh, my both uh, primary and secondary colors just to point out that in these two rows I'm going to uh, I'm not going to do any design it's just going to be my border as uh, border rows all right and in between this I'm going to put my design in so we are going to do uh, start our design in here in between the both uh, border uh, and here in this empty uh, space we are going to create our design so just um, do any kind of design you can play around with the designs you want uh, I'm going to um, do some Tetris design uh, it's a game that I used to play as a child as a mobile phone game so I'm just feeling like uh, doing this Tetris design today sorry I'm going to do the design in yellow color because this is my primary color and I want to do the design in my primary color okay I'm happy with the design and now uh, the rest of the part I can just uh, do the fill in in the secondary color okay let me just put some more Tetris in the design okay all right so now uh, we have done our design we're done with the design and i'm quite happy with it each of these boxes represents a single crochet until there's a cross sign in there right so now we have to decide which uh, rows uh, which uh, boxes are going to be double crochet and which boxes are, are going to be single crochet stitch we are going to do in so we have to decide that before we can do that i'm just going to color all my other boxes where there won't be any design i'm just going to fill them in in the purple color my secondary color okay so we have uh, filled the uh, the rest of the boxes in purple color which is my secondary color now the 
design is more evident as you can see now let's just uh, select the border colors because as you know in borders again we don't uh, really do any design for mosaic overlay mosaic crochet uh, instead we it just uh, shows which color we have used which color yarn we have used for which row right so that's why it alternates the colors the primary and secondary colors As I can see, this uh, my ninth row is going to be yellow. So tenth row can't be yellow. It has to be purple color. And that means I have to add another additional row as the border row. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do now. And total, I'm going to have eleven rows. See, you can just change it every time. Um, according to your preferences okay so now we have to decide which box uh, is going to be a drop down stitch which is going to be a single crochet stitch okay so uh, let's start doing that so first row we know we did it in yellow uh, second row was the secondary color in purple third row is going to be yellow again so we don't need to put any um, drop stitch drop uh, double crochet here so we are good to go in this row next row we know is going to be purple color right so it's going to be all purple and in row 5 again is yellow color so we are going to put a single crochet here now um, here I can see for row 4 there were a yellow color in there even though row 4 was the purple colored one so I know here I have to do a double crochet so I'm going to put an X in there okay let me just make the fonts a bit bigger so that it be easier for you to see okay and let's make it all in the middle okay that's fine so that's my drop down double crochet here here is, is only one box it can be a single crochet here again I have to do two double crochet because I can see there's a yellow uh, box here where there are this purple row that means I have to do a drop down double crochet there okay and here again is the same just going to make some adjustment with the design okay. so here you can see you can put two more access in here to make the design and I think that's all uh, uh, all uh, double crochet for this row okay and you can modify all the time your design to uh, decide where to where the uh, double crochet single crochet be, would be in so for row six you can see in row five there are some purple color boxes but row five was yellow uh, color uh, yarn we used so in row six we have to do two here uh, to double crochet drop down double crochet so that it covers these two area okay this can be single crochet no problem here again another double crochet another double crochet here this can be single all single crochet another double crochet here and another double crochet here so just like that you just have to go ahead and check your design and decide where to put your double crochet every time if you um, if you are considering a specific row check the row below and see if uh, there's the same color uh, pattern going on in there if there is then just uh, do a cross sign because you know here you have to go to the row below to do a drop down double crochet in order to uh, make the design work 
so i hope it uh, was helpful for you this tutorial you're, you're going to be able to create your own project from now on take care stay safe bye